Sherman, Leave a Legacy. I'm going to focus my comments and remarks about this book, uh, The Laws of Leadership. Phenomenal book by John Maxwell. If you, can, if you can pick it up and go for a read. It's not just a leadership book. It also has um, some assignments at the end of each chapter to really get yourself um, being more effective as a leader. And, and ultimately, do you get Paulus to do 21 Laws of Leadership? It's going to be very difficult to, to ever feel like you've, you've hit that mark. But the first uh, chapter, or the first law of leadership, he calls it the, the law of the lid. And it's the idea that um, effective and efficient management is, is held under, under this lid without real proper leadership to be able to take it to that next level. And the example that he uses is the, the brothers, at, the McDonald's brothers that started it back in 1937, uh, this great little drive-in. Um, it was doing very, very well. And then for, from 1937 to about 1954, before they hired Ray Kroc, it basically just did, a, it was a great burger joint. And it was, you know, f focused on efficiencies and what Ray was able to do was franchise the whole concept and literally then exploded it. Now, of course, it was very difficult for the first eight years. Um, uh, in the book, they refer he references um, that for eight years, he didn't pull salary. He actually had to tap into his own personal assets, um, even his life insurance in order to pay some key employees that he felt were, were critical to the organization. And then all of a sudden, after those eight years, it just spiraled and just exploded in this in this magnificent way. And obviously, Ray really was the, the name that's synonymous with McDonald's when it comes to just the franchise model and the overall efficiency and effectiveness. And it really was his leadership that took it that, that, to that next level. And he had the vision of where it could go. At the same time, he had the tenacity and the determination, the persistence to really see it to that next level. The interesting thing to, to note for yourself is that age literally is just a number. Uh, Ray, when he started working with the McDonald's brothers, he was already in his 50s. And literally on the, on, on the stage with most people are in their, what would you call their fourth quarter of their career, he was literally on the first quarter making it happen and um, took it into the evolution that it really is today. Um, it reminds me of the book, G um, Good to Great. Ray Kroc really is the embodiment of what he did for Mac the McDonald's franchise, McDonald's Corporation, not only um, locally here in the United States, but just globally. And literally what you see as it dots the, the, the entire world is that it, it, it was all pinned on those leadership principles and concepts that Ray had created back in the 50s. The question that I have for you, as you think about your leadership skills, what is the lid that's keeping you back? What leadership skill to really explode you to that next level? Have a fantastic day.